Welcome to QLab. Today we'll be doing the first of two videos exploring the chemistry of the colours in plants. So today we're going to be doing the extraction process and if you'd like to follow along all the equipment is listed in the description box. There's one very important thing though, we're going to be using a solvent and the solvent's called isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. It's a little bit dangerous. It's flammable, that means it catches fire, so don't do this around any flames or sparks. And it also can irritate your eyes. So if you've got any specs, goggles, maybe in the garage, or just some glasses, they can protect your eyes. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is have a look at all the different flowers or parts of plants we're going to look at. So firstly here we've got some grass. It's just ordinary garden grass from my garden. Here we've got some petals from a camellia flower. Lovely flower. Camellia flower. Here I've got some petals from a plant called Forsythia. A lovely yellow colour. Really nice colour. Then some really dainty little flowers from something we call lungwort. Lungwort, that's its common name. But its Latin name is pulmonaria. Pulmonaria. I really like this plant. It's very pretty. And then over here we've got good old daffodil flowers. And I also put the corona in there as well. So that's Narcissus is the Latin name for this plant. And then down here we've got the humble primrose. And this is a really nice sort of red rouge coloured primrose. And its Latin name is Primula. Now before we go any further, we've got to make sure all of these are broken up into little pieces. So we're going to do that with our fingers. Okay, let's get started then. There we go. Things don't look so pretty once we've sort of broken them up a little bit. But we needed to do it so that we can fit them in the little test tubes, but also so that we can break apart some of the structure and let the liquid extract the pigments that we're looking for. So the next thing we're going to do is put them into these little glass tubes or test tubes. Now don't worry if you don't have these at home. You can just use some nice simple like little jam jars or any little glass container, something that allows you to see what's going on. have a look at them. So here are the 12 tubes and from left to right we can actually just put a little symbol so we know what they are. This one's going to be grass. Oh, let's make that so we can see that a bit better shall we? There we go. This one's going to be grass. This one here is Camellia. This one's the 
pulmonaria or lung wart. This one here is the forsythia, those yellow flowers. This is the daffodil. We'll call it daffodil. We use its common name because that's what everyone will know. And this one over here, that's the primrose, isn't it? Or primula. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol to each of these uh, test tubes. And now we have to just wait and I'm going to stir them a little bit as we wait. stirred them all for a few minutes I'm going to let them stand for about three or four minutes to try and extract some more color so we'll see you back then well now we're back after a few minutes and I have to admit I did stir this one and this one just a little bit more so now to have a clear look at some of these colours that we've extracted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the solution from this one, just decant it, that means pour with leaving the solids behind, into another test tube. If you've done a lot of this, what you can do is you can use a sieve with a bit of kitchen roll to filter, but I don't think we'll need to do that for this one. that we've extracted from the different flowers or the grass in this case yeah. now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at these different extracts using a technique called chromatography thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did remember to come back for part two when we start to separate the colors you've extracted using chromatography